ever feel like when we talk about mental health, it's um, always kind of like reacting to something instead of getting ahead of it. Like oh. we talk about getting help and finding resources. Right. But what about preventing things in the first place? Total. That's what we're diving into today. Yeah. Prevention. This idea of using podcasts to change how we think about. Yeah. And deal with mental well-being. It's interesting. I like it. If we're going to unpack this whole podcast for prevention campaign. Okay. We've got all the details. If you're a podcaster or a speaker and want to get involved. Cool. Their big goal is pretty ambitious. Yeah. They're trying to raise a million dollars. Wow. A million dollars. Okay. To make being proactive about mental health like the normal thing. I like it. Not just something people think about, you know, right, right. when things are already tough. When it's too late. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, think about how many people listen to podcasts. So it's huge. Every single day. Millions and millions. It's like a gold mine, right? Yeah. If we can get this message out there right. to all those listeners. Okay, so someone out there listening who has a podcast might be thinking, yeah, this is great and all, but what's in it for me? How is this going to help me? Right. Exactly. And this is where it gets interesting. Okay, tell me more. So they've really focused on a big problem for people with podcasts, especially about mental health. Okay. Monetization. Uh, that's always the tricky part, right? It is. Especially when you're trying to do good and help people. It's hard to get funding and support. Right, because you're not exactly selling a product, right? Sure. You're selling, well, you're giving away good advice and support. Exactly. But that doesn't always pay the bills. Yeah. Sadly not. So how does this campaign tackle that? They got really, real, really concrete. Okay, good. Start day one. I've heard of them. And they're all about... I like what they do. Making mental wellness a day one thing. Yeah. Making it a priority right from the start. Exactly. So podcasters can say, hey, we're part of this. Okay. Which is a big deal. It is. But they can also get help with fundraising. Oh, that's smart. It's like a win-win. So they're not just getting their message out there, but they're also... But getting support. Getting actual tangible support. Yes. That's amazing. And oh. he didn't stop there. No. There's more. Okay, I'm hooked. They're actually talking about... What else? Maybe even paying people. Wow, for real? Like actual compensation? For the work that they're doing. Okay. And even reimmersing them for expenses. Wow, they're really serious about this. That's impressive. They're recognizing that creating this kind of content mm -hmm. takes time absolutely and effort and it's valuable we need more of this kind of content out there and it should be valued exactly i'm really impressed i gotta say yeah this is really refreshing to hear it sounds like they really want people to focus oh, on look, matter. getting those messages and stories out there matter. yeah instead of being bogged down by the logistics and the financial stress absolutely and that's not all they have all these other resources. Like what? Like this network of speakers. Oh, wow. Okay. That they've already found and vetted. So it's like a curated list of... Therapists. <laughs> okay. Life coaches. Nice. People with really powerful stories to tell. That's amazing. People who are ready to share their insights. That takes a lot of the pressure off, right? Of yes. like finding the right guests, booking them. It's all right there. So smart. It's like they've built this incredible... Yeah, a support system. Yes. A launching pad. I love that. To get these conversations started. So it's not just about throwing money at the problem. They're actually providing. Right, he forces support. Yeah, a whole infrastructure. Right, and they didn't just stop with podcasters either. Oh, there's more. Who else are they bringing in? Yeah, they're thinking about speakers too. Oh, interesting. Okay. People who want to share their story. Gotcha. Maybe they don't have a podcast. Okay, right. But they still want to be involved. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's say I'm a speaker. Okay, yeah. Why would I want to work with this campaign? Well, for one, it's a chance to reach a ton of people. I mean, podcasts are popular. More and more every day, right? True. Like, you think about someone who's got a big following, and yeah. they tell their story. Yeah, about their experience. Their mental health journey. Yeah, their own struggles. That's powerful stuff. It is, and I think that's one of the most compelling things for listeners. Yeah. Hearing those personal stories. Oh, absolutely. When someone's willing to be that real. Totally. Like, it makes it real, you know? Yeah. It's not just some abstract. Like a textbook. Yeah, exactly. Or like a pamphlet. No one wants to read a pamphlet. Right. They want to hear from a real person. Exactly. Someone who's been there. And that does so much to, like... Break down the stigma. Yeah, the stigma. That's the thing. Because when you hear someone you admire... Right. Talking about their challenge. You realize you're not alone. Exactly. And that it's okay to not be okay. That's what I love about this campaign. Yeah. They're not just looking for, you know, one type of person. 
Oh, so they're really going for diversity. Yeah. Different backgrounds. Love that. Different experiences. Because mental health, it can impact anyone. It really can. It doesn't discriminate. Nope. And sometimes just hearing someone else say, Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. I get it. Mm-hmm. That's huge. And it can make a lot of difference. It can. Yeah. So for people listening who have shared their stories for other campaigns, yeah. what kind of impact have you seen? I think for a lot of people, when they share yeah. and they hear other people's stories, mm-hmm. it helps them realize yeah. they're not going through it alone. Yes. It builds this feeling of community. It really does. And hope, you know? I like that. That's good. And that's so important because if you don't have hope... Right. You're not going to go get out. Exactly. You're not going to talk to anyone. Yeah, you're just going to keep it all bottled up inside. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This all sounds great in theory. Yeah. But how does it actually work? Okay, so to be honest with you... Yeah. I thought it was going to be a whole big thing. Like a big process? Yeah. Forms and applications and... Poops to jump through? Yes. But they've made it really easy. Oh, nice. Okay. They have a super simple sign up. Easy peasy. They help you make a fundraising page. They walk you through it. Yeah. And they even have this thing. It's so smart. Okay. What is it? You text podcasts okay. <laughs> to the number 44321. Do a phone number. That's it. That's it. And yeah. they send you a link right to the campaign page. See, now that's thinking outside the box. Right. No website forms or any of that. Nope. I like it. So easy. And did they mention anything about the financial side of things for speakers? Oh, yeah. They definitely mentioned that they're looking into. Okay. So there could be some money in it. Yeah. They want to make sure speakers are compensated fairly. That's great. They're really trying to make it worthwhile for everyone to get involved. Exactly. They want people to be excited about this, not stressed about the money side of things. I love that. Me too. It's really cool that they're looking out for everyone. Right. Like they want to make it easy. Mm -hmm. And if they can offer some financial support, even better. Yeah, exactly. It's like they're saying, we value what you bring to the table. Okay. So let's zoom out for a second. Okay. Yeah. What if we really flip the script? on this whole mental health thing. What do you mean? Like, what if instead of treating it like this thing we got to avoid, yeah, we thought about it like taking care of ourselves. Proactively. Yes. From day one. I love that. It's like day one of my awesome life. It's like, this is important. Mm-hmm. It deserves attention. We take care of our bodies, right? Right. We eat healthy. We exercise. We go to the doctor. Exactly. So why not the same for our minds? Totally. It should be like brushing your teeth. It's a habit. You do it every day. Wow. And what I love about this whole podcast angle yeah. is it's meeting people where they are. Totally. You're listening in the car. At the gym. Out for a walk. Yeah. And boom. Yeah. You hear these stories. These conversations. And they make you think. You make you feel less alone. Less alone. Yes. It normalizes the whole thing. Exactly. So it's not this scary thing anymore. Right. Because everyone's always thinking about it. They just don't talk about it. Exactly. And that's what needs to change. It's kind of like, yeah. you know how podcasts got everyone into true crime? Oh, yeah, totally. Or like change the way people eat? Mm-hmm. True. If they can do that. Why not mental health? Why not mental health? It's about time. It really is. So big question. Yeah, hit me. No. How is this going to change things down the road? Ooh, that's a good one. What's this going to look like in... Five years, 10 years. Well, I mean, just imagine yeah. it's not just going to be a few podcasts here and there, right? Yeah. It could be a whole movement. Like mental health awareness is everywhere. People are talking about it. They're supporting each other. And it's all thanks to podcasts. Podcasts. Who knew? So if you're out there and this has got your wheels turning, yeah, check out the show notes. Okay. We've got links to the campaign. Awesome. And if you're a podcaster or a speaker, mm-hmm. think about joining. Yeah, seriously. Your voice could make a real difference. Until next time, everyone, keep the conversation going. Yes. And remember, you're not alone.